Okay guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is a single love re reading for you guys. Um, so first we're going to take a look and see what is going on with friends and love, the box of challenges, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. If there's anyone new coming in towards you guys, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at the replacements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Leo people. Uh, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, so if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. Uh, the, the link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Leo, single Leos. What's going on with single Leos in love? What are their blocks and challenges in love? for May 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Leos, for single Leos. We have the Death card in the Chariot, the Death card, the Chariot, Cancer energy, Scorpio energy. Let's see what else. We have Eight of Swords, okay. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. With the Two of Pentacles, okay. And the world. I feel like you're trying to figure out something here. Regarding someone's offer, regarding someone's apology here. So I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're having a hard time letting go of somebody here. Moving on from an ending of a situation that you dealt with here before. Like, I feel like you keep thinking about this situation. I feel like you're feeling trapped. I feel like you're having a hard time moving on or letting things go here. So that's keeping you actually from finding new love here because you're still holding space for someone here that you've been dealing with, okay? Because I feel like this is not like the first ending. I feel like this has been an on and off situation. There has been multiple endings here, and I feel like you keep going back to somebody here, uh, Leo. Okay, tell me about the death card. With the king of wands, there you are right here. Okay. Aries, little dodge to cherry and the seven of pentacles. Yeah. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're having a hard time sort of like learning from your mistakes here, I feel. Now, it could be someone that you know that's going through this or dealing with this here. But someone here is having a hard time letting someone go, moving on. Uh, there's a lack of closure here. Uh, there's a lack of a final finality here. Someone here keeps going back to a situation that they're comfortable with, that they know that it's not good for them. Oh, there's the dog. Eight of Swords. We have the uh, her, uh, Hierophant. Taurus Energy. The uh, Page of Pentacles and the Strength card, Leo Energy. There you are right here. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. The World and the Hangman. <coughs> you know, I feel like it's important to kind of like Focus on what is true and what you have seen so far because I feel like you keep maybe someone here keeps making excuses or someone here keeps bypassing what they're seeing, what they're noticing, what the person that they're dealing with here. There's definitely a lack of letting go. There's a lack of uh, you know being able to accept what has happened and you know accepting changes here. Someone here has a difficult time with change. Okay, uh, what else do we have here for single Leos? What else does single Leos need to know, look out for, work on? Is there anyone new coming in for them? This is about accepting what you have seen. You know, a lot of times the closure, if someone here is not providing us with closure, 
the closure is, is basically how the person has treated you. you. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's a sense of, you know, kind of like making it difficult for them. If someone here is making it difficult for themselves. Instead of just accepting what they have seen and what they have experienced, someone here just keeps bypassing those experiences and just keeps going back to an individual that has continually continually to lie to you uh to fight with you uh, uh juggle you uh, uh, uh and just basically not giving you what you want we have the seven of swords here and the six of wands with the three of pentacles with the seven of wands you know it's really important to have boundaries here Leo, I feel like there's a lack of boundaries. And I feel like because there's a lack of boundaries, you get easily taken advantage of here. Okay? We have temperance here. Sagittarius energy. It's really important for you to move on from the situation and heal. And sort of like build a solid, firm foundation for yourself right now. Because I feel like in this very moment, there's a lack of stability here. You know, there's a lack of self-love here because I feel like you're settle settling for less than what you deserve, you know? So we have the Four of Wands. So why is this Four of Wands here? We have the Moon. This is sort of like leading to someone, this is leading someone to do some sort of shadow work here. Yeah, like so I feel like someone's shadow side is coming up. Like I feel like someone here knows or someone here is realizing that this pattern that someone here has been caught in, it's not really normal, you know, to be caught up in this situation like this. Uh, we have temperance. You know, a lot of times, you know, when it comes to love situations, you know, when someone here is treating us poorly, you know, it is crappy that someone here treats us poorly, but you also have to realize that sometimes you know, some, you know, some people put themselves in those situations by continuing to stay in them, you, you know, so it's kind of like you're already asking for it. We have the seven of wands here with the four of cups. Three of pentacles in the tower. What it comes down to is that I feel like some here lacks that self-confidence and doesn't really deserve that. They deserve good things here. So I feel like that's why someone here settles for this, you know, you have the tower and the three of pentacles here. Why is the tower here? We have the magician. Well, you know, I feel like this is a great opportunity here for someone here to completely shift their paradigm here because I feel like someone here thinks very poorly of themselves or thinks very negatively about themselves, and that is what you will attract. You know, what people don't know is that the mind. And what you say is a very powerful manifestation tool. So if you think negatively about yourself or that you talk neg negative, negatively about yourself or that you think the worst, that is what's going to come towards you. You know what I mean? You know, manifestation, you know, you know, your words, you know, how you think, it's kind of like, it's like putting on a spell, you know? Uh, so, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes people can, are able to sort of like curse themselves by seeing these things, by thinking these things, okay? We have the Six of Wands here and the Three of Swords. Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. You know, I feel like someone here is contributing to their own suffering here and I feel like someone here doesn't even see it. And that's why I feel like there's all this heavy energy coming up for you because I feel like someone here needs to address this, all right? Yeah, so Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.